please subscribe like and share it is an impression among a lot of engine builders from experts to uh, home uh, home garages that the exhaust is the hottest part of the combustion chamber and for many parts that is true but there are exceptions now why is it hotter on the exhaust but the intake part of the uh, piston is the one that burns up and chunks come off of it and we will touch bases on that today and try to uh, shed light and explain it and that I hope uh, you guys uh, could uh, uh, further uh, understand what's going on and uh, if you agree agree please let me know if you disagree also I would welcome any suggestions and I'm just given the scenario that is happening and hopefully we have a better understanding of uh, uh, what is going on while you know we're making lots of horsepower and uh, that's when the issue comes up okay uh, uh, pre-ignition detonation all that comes into play uh, ignition timing tables fuel and air ratio well we'll look at this and uh, look at the failure and uh, analyze what uh, went on okay guys we'll do this what you're looking at are the chunk missing off that cylinder this is the intake side that's the exhaust side no issues on the exhaust and look at here chunks of this came off landed on top of the quench part of the piston and cylinder head and damaged it same thing here even worse bigger chunks came off of course it'll drop on the bottom of the bore and so as the piston comes up to TDC it damages the, the piston but that is exactly where it started okay and you can notice pitting part of the spark plug is already melted here and same thing here this is where it starts here's another example as you can see top of the intake comes off okay so that is an indication that it's overheating chunk came off intake side here we have one that's starting to do that it looks so innocent right about here right now yeah, it looks innocent but reality is when you look closely here if you notice that that whole area there is like a sandpaper I don't know if I can bring it closer but you can see it's rough starting from that area right there all the way here and eventually that thing will end up like so okay here we're looking at the piston and this is normal here but what happens if you look the lean condition starting right about here which would lift the top ring land what happens this piston hasn't been uh, cleaned okay this is how it's been run the spark plugs in this area here pointing that way the pro flame propagation is towards this area once the, uh, the, the burn starts from here towards the exhaust valve what actually happens thereafter is while the piston is going down on the ignition phase there's a pressure and temperature spike right about this area as shown by the discoloration okay this pressure and temperature spike will create an auto ignition in that general area which when that happens it breaks a chunk of the piston just like so okay this doesn't have the discoloration anymore because it's already misfiring at that point and everything else is is a uh, messed up there okay but this is before it's about to melt see that very clean spot remember when you have a lot of temperature around that area that means it's very hot carbon builds up on the cold side of the piston just like below the quench here the quench there is not too bad okay and about there too but this is the dark spot is where the cold part of the piston over here 
you already see it. If this one run any longer, it'll start to lift up and break that part of the piston. Okay, guys? This is a little bit too lean for my taste. I would like a little coloration. Not quite, a, more like that over here. The whole journal area. It's normally here that is the lean issue and I'm going to show you that on the drawing. Now we're looking at the head up close. The flow is this way. It comes in, hits the wall, spark plug is there and the flame front goes from here expands towards the exhaust. Very very last section to light up is right here or to be consumed this general area right here. You know why? Because once fuel and air have momentum, fuel has weight. All the heavy fuel particles ends up right about here. That's why sometimes you have a washout condition and dark, somewhat dark here, even if it's on the exhaust. Because overrich condition occurs right about this area here. Now, when this thing happens, this side here doesn't get enough. It can't quite take this turn, okay? So all the heavy fuel particles end up right on this part of the cylinder. This side here, it's like this. That side there is here, as evident by this very lean condition right about that general area, okay? Like so. Now, when fuel is very rich, it burns slow and lazy and cold. That's why you see a lot of carbon coloring. On the lean spot here, because the fuel molecules are farther away from each other, what actually happens is that the burn is also very slow right here. Stoichiometric burns just about right, but it's very lean right here because like I said, all the fuel particles ended up here. The air sometimes can navigate here, but hardly any fuel that is in this vicinity. So, when you finally initiate the combustion, the flame front goes this way, okay? This area is the last to be consumed. But the issue is, if it doesn't get consumed, there's a pressure, pressure and temperature spikes here. And when that happens, starts to melt. So remember, when everybody looks at their, their big block Chevy Ford, Chrysler, and they see that their intake side is always burned up, not the exhaust side. It's because of that isolated area of very lean condition. Now, if you get your quench correct and you can smack that thing and spread it better, it's still somewhat hard to get it to this area. Now, your head gasket thickness and your deck clearance has a lot to do how this one here reacts. If it's too loose, it doesn't do a good job. If it's too tight, it isolates that even worse. Okay? So, remember that right there. All the fuel comes in and ends up right back here. Right this journal area. Okay? And this one here, as you can see, it's very, very light. Very, very light. Or actually, no color at all. <laughs> it's a bare aluminum. That is where you get your secondary ignition sources. Okay? Detonation or whatever. I hope that's clear. And I'll try to do this on a drawing. Anyway, I hope uh, that video shed light into why we have issues with the intake valve pocket as far as lifting and uh, melting. And like I stated, uh, because of the lean conditions in that part of the combustion chamber. It's not even that long ago where the limiting factor in compression, boost, or uh, nitrous really is uh, the fact that the exhaust valve would tend to overheat. But with today's new technologies, 
uh, with the ever increasing intake valve size and ever decreasing exhaust valve size the reverse has come to show that the intake valve being larger by area than two exhaust valves especially on a four valve engine combination tend to run hotter so on new engines with bigger intakes smaller exhaust valves the intake valve gets exposed to more combustion heat thereby like in formula one you can see a video of a of a intake valve actually glowing red <laughs> instead of the exhaust valve glowing red before now the intake valve is glowing red and that's where you see the limits of boost and fuel uh, octane or resistance to detonation pre-ignition all that is bore out by this uh, uh, revised kind of uh, uh, building engines bigger and bigger intake valves smaller and smaller exhaust valve just think about it I have one the bigger intake valve if the face is larger okay um, the stem is farther away from the tip of the valve so if this is exposed more to combustion heat then it'll tend to overheat whereas if the exhaust is smaller diameter wise and it's closer to the valve stem it tends to run cooler all right so just think about that the size itself has gave it a limiting factor uh, as far as overheating inside the combustion chamber now with this kind of 4v you know that's the intake right there it's a large uh, a valve relief and the lean condition because the flow is coming in from here this is still very lean here so given the fact that you have two oversized intake valve and a smaller and smaller ever exhaust valve in the lean condition right here glowing intake valve lean area here just like on the two valve piston I showed you then you get a recipe for disaster and the guys that are great at trying to control that area will end up winning the race this is Ben this is the end of our video please like subscribe and share and uh, let's keep this going and I hope uh, this will help in the next video we're going to talk about why the new factory blocks are stronger than ever before it's just not the cylinder head and I'll show you what part okay good night thank you very much wherever you are good morning good day thank you very much guys bye bye